sounds really cool. And I see why you'd want to have everyone vetted considering you're having it at your, uh, at your locale place where you, you live, your homestead mm -hmm. and everything. That's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, that's, that sounds, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I got a question about the, uh, mushrooms. Um, mm -hmm. So about how many mushrooms do you haul? And is it just a matter of, I'm guessing from the way you described it, it's just a matter of like knowing where to look pretty much. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I go back to the same couple of places, um, and uh, one of them is really, really, was really ripe with chanterelles for, uh, on a few different occasions over the course of a couple months. Um, me, me and Ori went out there for like 15 minutes and came out with two bags, full. like, I don't know what the weight is, but a lot of mushrooms. Um, a lot of mushrooms. Uh, and uh, just, uh, I guess, as, as of late, found another spot, and uh, um, so there's a, a really popular mushroom called Hint of the Woods. Um, well, that's a September mushroom. That's those those come up around uh, around this time. Well, there's an August version of that called a black staining polypore, and uh, we found like I mean I I I don't even know like each one of them weighs like five or six pounds, and we've gotten out and you know gotten five or six of those big ones. So it's uh, we've got a, a shit ton of dried. Um, I guess they're they're basically hen of the woods, just the August variety of them. Um, so it's yeah it's 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 crazy uh, knowing the place to look and really I mean if you just look around you're gonna find mushrooms. Um, now, can you identify all of them that you can eat? Um, probably not. I only know a few, but um, you know, you just learn one every once in a while, and you know, you, you'll eventually have a pretty good handle on it. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Knowing where to look and just just look for them. The mushrooms are out there, especially after a day or two after. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a small amount of a relatively small amount of knowledge and um, a little bit of experience would, could go, goes a long way because if you're only spending 15 to 30 minutes and yeah you're out in a place i mean you're out kind of you're outside the city you're in a rural location where you can readily access that but i mean that's not a lot of time if you get if you're really getting all your mushrooms and a variety of mushrooms i think that's uh, actually really cool i haven't heard anybody yeah, mention and, um, mushroom hunting for and there's and that's that's not it though there's a couple other really incredible benefits to to this i guess i, I haven't mentioned turkey tail they're everywhere too they just grow on logs but uh, turkey tail is a you know a so-called cancer cure. Like that's a turkey tea, turkey tail tea. Um, so that you can find anywhere. We just we 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 found a couple of logs in the woods, took them back to the house, brought them back here to the house, and you just kind of water it, and you just have turkey tail growing on that log, and it'll grow for a couple of years. And uh, or actually just ordered um, some shiitake logs, some uh, some shiitake inoculated logs um, from uh, from some website, and it just got here a couple of days ago. So we've got um, we'll have shiitake mushrooms. Um, possibly in the, in the next month or two, or maybe next spring. We don't know exactly when they're gonna when they're gonna come up. Um, and then the other thing I'll mention is like a financial and financial independence route or entrepreneurial route. Um, we we go to this health food store an hour away, and uh, um, the chanterel mushrooms. Um, that she she has them in little bags. They're like 0 .03 ounces. Um, or they're like it's it's a really small bag. Um, but at the at the rate they're like two hundred dollars a pound is what it says on the bag. Um, and for the for the hen of the woods, um, you're talking you know fifty sixty bucks. Uh, honey mushrooms, which I haven't been able to locate in the woods myself yet. Um, we thought we did, but it was actually turned out to be a poisonous one. So glad we didn't try that one. Um, but uh, you know honey mushrooms are like fifty sixty dollars a pound. Like it's crazy. Um, you know what these what these mushrooms go for, and it makes sense because. Uh, um, before I even got into the into the actual mushroom hunting and drawing, um, I've been taking uh, you know I've been all about um, I take a mushroom supplement from a, a company called or, uh, I guess a, a homestead out out uh, northern California called Alpha Vedic. I'm an off grid homestead, and uh, it's this really incredible mushroom supplement. I drink some mushroom tea, and then now I started I, I've found out that I can find four or five of these mushrooms um, you know in the woods right around me. So. Um, it's really, really incredible. Um, I mean, it's, it's mushrooms and honey have been like two of the areas where, um, I mean, I've, 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 I've gone, gone really, really far into, and then also a, a lot of mushrooms are like a, are, have a really, really high source of vitamin D. So you can't really get that from other sources, like from plants. So, um, not, not easily. So it's, it's, it's insane. Mushrooms and honey for sure. Our strategy for liberty is the creation of a culture of liberty, a society that occupies its own protected space and implements independent systems of cooperation. We need to create a second realm. Device connection terminated.